All right. Hey, Posh Hearts. So today's topic is on who you're, how you can deal with your competition and how you can overcome obstacles. Um, now, this has kind of been something that's been on my mind for a little bit. Um, so dealing with competition and kind of overcoming obstacles is kind of like, so the reason why I, I picked this topic was something that it's been on my mind. Um, and I think it's something that everybody can benefit from, whether they are a new consultant or an old consultant. Um, and really, for the most part, what it is, is um, I kind of think about, okay, sorry, it's going to be a little bit for me to get my words out. Okay. Um, but I think that a lot of people think that their competition is you, I think that your perspective isn't exactly where it should be for the most part, for most people. The, you, all, you probably think that your competition, like your biggest competition and your biggest competitor is like, say, that premier that lives, you know, I don't know, a mile away from you or that other consultant that is um, mutual friends with some of your friends or, um, you know, that darn, you know, posh girl that does has the best social media or whatever, or somebody that you view as your competition, just whoever it is, it's somebody that you're personally viewing and you think that they are a um, threat to your business and to your, um, your growth as a consultant. And this is kind of my, my, I don't know, tough love kind of thing. I don't know. Um, talk with you guys about who your real competition is and as much as it is that yeah okay I can understand that it's a little bit um, scary to think that somebody might go to someone else because maybe you guys have so, you know you have consultants in the same city and maybe they're gonna see them and not see you first and I understand that that's scary or someone else has more more, I don't know, resources in, on, at hand so that you feel like they're going to get more people because of that. And my, my biggest kind of thing for you is that your biggest competition is not another posh consultant. It is not, not the platinum premier that lives, you know, that is down the street from you. It is not the consultant that is, um, you know, blowing up social media. It is not the consultant Team. it's or not on your team but that that is in direct competition with you in terms of customers um, your biggest competition is going to be you um, and what you decide you want to do with this business and how far you're willing to push for it because we I don't know if you guys know this or if you guys are aware because there are a lot of new people or there's you know there's a lot of social postures out there but posh is a company that is we strive we strive so hard to be a company that is about sharing and about caring among the consultants there we don't we don't pit consultants against each other so that they can fight we do have some friendly competitions you know friendly contests and like the incentive parade which is meant to help build your business and build your business for the long run but it's not we're not pitting consultants against each other. Um, and hopefully you guys are getting that among with all with the, the consultants on the team and any other consultants that you're coming in contact with because we are here to help each other out. If the consultant down the street from you succeeds, you're succeeding as well. Um, and this might be seemingly like weird, like what does that even mean? How is that even possible? If the whatever platinum premiere takes up all of I don't know, maybe they, they, they are, or you have this consultant, maybe it's a plan, I don't know, it doesn't have to be a plan, but maybe you have a consultant that is constantly the one that gets all the events before you, and they're just always in the door first, and you're just like, I can't do events because these guys, like, they keep, they keep getting there first. I understand that's frustrating, but look at it this way. They are sharing posh with people, and they are getting the word out there, and they are growing the posh, 
I don't know, knowledge and the love and sharing it with more people because that's going to help you out. I don't know if you guys are aware of how amazing, like what, where we are in the growth cycle right now with Posh. There are people that know what Posh is, guys. Like there are people that are going to come to you if they know you're a consultant and they know you're working, they're going to come to you. Okay. And that's how we help each other out is that we are doing, we are all sharing so that we all can grow. There is a, there are enough customers. There are enough people for us to have that. We are still not even super saturated. Okay. You guys, I don't know. Like some areas are going to be more, have, have more consultants than others, but we're not to the point of saturation. We're not to the point where everybody knows what posh is and they are sick of it. <laughs> we're not there yet. I think you guys are probably aware of the fact that Posh is still very new and very, um, doesn't have quite, doesn't have quite, um, the amount of brand recognition that a lot of other brands have, has. And the reason, well, what that means is that the more that people can see the brand, the more that people hear about the brand, the more they're going to be willing to try it, the more that they're going to want to know what the, what it's about and they're going to seek it out as well and how does that help that helps when or how how is how how does having your competition around help you they're the the more contact that these people have the customers potential customers they have with posh the better it is for everybody okay so which is why it's so important i think and hopefully you guys are getting this is that our team page is for all of us. This is for all of us to share our, all of our ideas. It's not for somebody to post that they're doing the best thing ever and then not help anybody else. You know, it's not like I'm like, this is my idea that I have, but I'm not going to actually share you, with you guys like how I did it. And that's not how it works. Um, and hopefully you guys are kind of seeing that. Like if you guys are doing something awesome, share because not only is it cool to be like, okay, good. Other people think it's a good idea too. Cause sometimes I'm always like, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I need to like talk to people about it. But not only do you get feedback from consultants, you're also going to help. The more help that we have and the more willingness to share, the better we are going to be able to grow. If you guys are like, for example, the graphics page, the graphics page is a huge page. If you guys aren't on there yet, let me know. I'm happy to add you guys, but it is definitely one of those pages that I'm like, you know what? People get, people like going there because it has so many resources. There are so many consultants there, but why do you think it has that? Those like, why do you think there are so many graphics on the page? And why do you think people are so willing to help is because that's the cult. That's what's happened is that we've gotten thousands of consultants making all these different graphics and they have put it all in one place. And that is why that page succeeds. Posh is going to succeed and your business is going to succeed if we as consultants band together and help each other out. So the reason why I'm talking about this today and why it's kind of been on my mind and I, I don't know, maybe it'll resonate with some people is that I've been looking at the incentive period and I, I am higher. I'm, it looks like I might go to Costa Rica. Okay. And I'm freaking out about it, but I look at it and I, I get stressed and I feel like, Oh my God, I just don't think I'm good enough. I just don't know. Like, and, and then I get to the point where I'm just like, I just don't know if I can do it, that these people are better or are, are, are better than me. And then I have to think about, and then, it, and, you know, and then it got to the point where I was like, you know what though? That's not the point though. The point isn't like me comparing myself against them yeah, during the incentive period, it is important to make sure that you're paying attention to your ranking and to the people around you. But the long, long end game is really what the incentive is built for. And this is what you want to keep your, like your eye on the prize this is the end goal. Um, so that was something that I had to kind of like sit with and or sit on, I don't know, whatever, think about and realize that these guys aren't my competition. My competition is overcoming my fears of like my insecurities of not being able to do it and not not being good enough and that's just silly because it's like you know what think about it like what else can I do maybe I can brainstorm this way maybe I can do this and it's more of a can I challenge myself this is a challenge for myself rather than looking at other people seeing how good they are and then 
feeling down about myself. Okay. I don't want you guys to feel like that. And I wish that I could be like, you know what guys just stop doing that. It'll be fine. Yeah, no, that's not, the, it's easier said than done. It's easier to said than done to, to not compare yourself and not to, to others and to not sometimes get to the point where you're just like, I just can't do it. But this, what are you trying to achieve? And that's kind of like the obstacles that I was trying to, I was kind of going over is that you are, you're the one that's putting up your own obstacles. You're the one that's picking who your competition is and you're the one that's putting these obstacles up. Yeah, of course there are other obstacles. Hello. There are obstacles where you're just like, Oh my gosh, I can't get into any events. There are no open events. That's an obstacle. Uh, but maybe events just isn't going to work. Maybe either you create, you can create your own events. How about that? You know, come, come find a loophole around it or turn your focus to something else. Maybe that's just not working for you right now. Maybe events are just not going to work right now. So maybe you need to focus on social media or you need to focus on sample packs or, you know, handing out sample packs to people or just cold market building um, your, your cold market up. Um, that's kind of like, don't, don't get to a point where you hit an obstacle and you shut down because if you get to that point and you have, you're like legitimately, you're old, you're overwhelmed or you're feeling inadequate or whatever. That's what we're here for. And that's why we have team members. And that's why we have this posh community. You can go to anybody to talk about this, find a buddy to talk about what you guys like, or, you know, if you, you're like, I need an idea, let's brainstorm, come to the team page and post. If you're feeling like you just need to rant, go find a buddy and talk to them. And so that you can at least get it out. So you're not feeling like you're, I don't know, in a hole or whatever. <laughs> Hopefully this is not a downer for any of you guys that are watching this because I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that we are a team, even if like you're not in my team or whatever, that doesn't matter. If you're not like, am I going to, is if, if a brand new consultant or some consultant reaches out to me and asks me a question and I'm going to, am I going to be like, sorry, I don't actually benefit from helping you. So I'm not going to help you. No, because that's stupid. <laughs> Because no, I'm going to, you know, obviously I'm going to be like, well, you know, you do have resources. Make sure that she knows that she has resources available to her. She has her team. She has her premieres, but I am happy to help as well. Do you guys know that the Tuesday trainings that are put on that are hosted on Posh Talk by Home Office, those are volunteer signups from the premieres. They put out topics. They put out how many videos they want and premieres go and they volunteer their time and their brains to help um, train all of Posh. Do you think they keep like the biggest gems as a secret so that they can't like that? That's for them. That's not something that they're going to tell other people. No, that is not the, the Posh way. Okay. The posh for, okay. So I'm going to kind of ramble for a bit. Like the posh to meet you set right now, our posh to meet you set is a create your own posh to meet you set, right? You could pick your own trunk, your own hand cream, your own lip balm. How do you think that came about? We used to have posh to meet you sets that were set like an act. Like this was the, this was the exact hand cream, the exact lip balm, the exact chunk that you would get. And this was what you would get this catalog. And then the next catalog would be a different one. Okay. Consult some of the consultants decided, you know what, at events or at parties or whatever, we're going to let our customers pick. And so they decided to do that. They shared that idea with the other consultants and that spread, right? So then now we have the create your own posh to meet you set. We do have a graphic on the team page on this and you've probably seen this, but I saw that idea and I thought, you know what, I have an event coming up. That'll be perfect. I will do that at my event. Well, I loved it. It went over so well. Then, so, you know, I share that idea too. I'm like, guys, this is a really great idea for anybody that doesn't have a ton of inventory on hand or who, you know, this is a really good idea because you're, you know, they're $9 products. The products that for me are usually easy sellers if they don't sell, you know, anyway, but so then I shared that. And then, you know, now everybody, it's just something that I did, it worked for me, I shared it, it worked for them, they shared it, and it went crazy viral to the point that home office 
in corporate looked at what we were doing and said, you know what, that's a great idea. So they adopted it as well. Okay. We work together. This is like a whole meshy thing. Corporate home office, you know, dev team, they look at what we want and what works for us and they incorporate it. We as consultants have to talk to each other and help each other out so that we know what's good and what's not. Okay. There are tons of examples. The reason, like our our academies, our um, what is it? I don't even remember right now. Anyway, the the academies, all the different academies that are available right now, those were de like demands from consultants. We were like, we need more academies. We need more step by step. And then they put some of they put test groups through. People were like, I don't like this because of this, or I like this because of this, and then they improved on it. That's how it works as a team and that's how it works as a consultant is that you have to do something and if it doesn't work out you got to brainstorm or you need to talk it through you cannot you are not in this alone that was that's my whole final thing and i'm rambling but yeah you're not in this alone don't think that you're in your you're on your own team and you're on your own thing and you can do this by yourself because if you can do this by yourself kudos to you because it's hard um, but it's so much more fun with other people. It's so much more fun to hang out with other consultants and to find people that you connect with. Um, and you know, like the people that I do events with and the people that I hang out with locally that are posh consultants, they're not on my team. I don't, we do not like, we don't like, there isn't like m monetary gain or whatever. I'm not like, oh man, I work with you because I get a percentage off of you. And that's the only reason like that is so freaking not true. Um, because I love working with the people that I work with because they, they're the best. We, we get along so well. And what does that do when we have that energy or whatever at our booth and we're super happy and we love hanging out with each other, regardless of how much we make off of each other, which is not, you know, it, it, it makes our totals grow and makes it more fun. The atmosphere, the atmosphere is so much better. And that's what I kind of want to get from all of, from, from, I want you guys to kind of get that. So if you guys are watching this and you're feeling like there is competition among posh consultants or among team or whatever, hopefully you guys kind of got to the point where it's not like that at all. And like, yeah, I hang out like everybody that I hang out with, like all the people that I've like bonded with are not people that I, it's not like I'm like, I'm only going to be friends with you because it, is more beneficial to no like no it's just silly okay so just as a big old in your face kind of your biggest competition is you your biggest obstacles are going to be the obstacles that you're you're going to let bring you down the easiest thing to do is quit um there's going to be hard there's going to be lots of hard things lots of bumps in the road um lots of I just don't know what to do. And you know, it's, it's a friggin' roller coaster. So check out, I think I've talked about that before, but you're gonna have ups and downs in your business. That is natural. It's the, what succeed, success is where, is what happens after the downs. Are you gonna quit or are you gonna keep going? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm in a mood. I wanted, I don't know, it's like a real talk, whatever, for me today. Um, but yeah, no, it's just been one of those things that I know I've been dealing with it. And I, and it doesn't matter that I've been around for a while or whatever, that it's just, yeah, no, Soapbox Monday, seriously. Oh, uh, yeah, no. I mean, it's just one of those things where I was thinking about it and I was just like, I deal with this still. And I know I talk to lots of people and I'm like, you know what? don't do this, you know, and, but at the same time, I know it's hard, but maybe if I keep, we talk about it and share with each other, it won't be as hard and we can kind of get through it together. Um, okay. That's it. Um, I'm going to stop the recording and go off topic. If you are watching this later and you have any questions or anything like that, let me know or reach out to your upline. Um, or you can post on the team page if you have any questions or anything like that. Like I said, Find a buddy if you really need to, like, if you need a buddy to talk it through, you know, and hang out, you know, not hang out, but um, I guess rant with, I don't know. 
if you need somebody to talk to, you know, reach out to somebody. And, you know, I'm always here. So if you guys have any questions, any problems, um, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out something that's a little less sad after this. Um, or not sad, but a little less in your face, I guess. But I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.